this the first proper fitness test, was it today? What was it about? Uh, yeah, it was. We just, <coughs> every year and every club tries to go through and get a bit of a baseline test. So um, had a 2 k and did some skills, which is good. And probably be a bit more testing pre-Christmas as well. How did you go personally? Yeah, not too bad. Um, everyone's got a couple of targets that they've got to reach. And I think this time of the year, you just need to make sure that you've done your programming in the break so you can come back and train. So you, you have to have done your running, but you've got to be ready to train. Yeah, what about the young blokes? Is it a shock for them? Or? Uh, no, I don't think so. I've been able to chat to them and uh, we saw them all on the weekend. And it's just a, it's a whirlwind because they've got to meet so many people and do so many things. But they all seem to be taking it in their stride and, and doing it really well. So between now and Christmas, we'll go quick for them. But we just expect them to do as best as they can. That's all it is. Do you think it's sunk in a little bit for them yet? Oh, it's always a hard one. It probably... Um, I think some of them would, yeah, for sure, like coming over and getting to meet a few players and um, the reality sets in, but it probably it probably won't until post-Christmas, I don't think, for, for a few of them, yeah. Who were the star <coughs> performers uh, today? Who, um, Masto on that or still? Uh, yeah, look, Masto always runs quite well. We've got a couple of guys that run that run pretty well, um, which is part of their strengths, which is really good. But I think everyone did what they were meant to do today, which is really pleasing. And do, do you know who actually finished in front? Though? Who were the uh, mate, we, we ran off in different splits, but I would assume that Masto, Gaffey didn't run. Masto's up front. Oh, no, he was up front. Stocksy. Masto, Duggo. Duggo's up front. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, Buda. Boots. Yeah, I'm not sure what times. They'll run faster than me, that's all I know. Bunga, <laughs> just on he sort of set a really high draft prospect coming into that third season now. Yep. He sort of won that, I think, he's one that sort of started yeah. as elevating his game. Is that yeah. what you say? Yeah, I think it is. And, um, it's, not, it's not so much that you, um, well, it's the first two years, three years, I think, of your footy. You're always trying to find out where you fit, what your strengths are, how you can um, come into the game. And I think um, Duggo's found that, but you know, Jackson Nelson will be another one, Dom Sheed. Just found um, what is required to be able to play well. So we certainly expect them to um, progress this year. So we'll just see how it goes. But um, they, they're doing the work, which is the important thing. Have you sort of sensed a change in their mindset or their application, or what is it? Oh, it's change? always a, it's touch it's a touch hard to tell after one day, but I certainly think blokes um, have done their program in the break, and that's always the hardest thing because it's 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 by yourself, and you know you can take a shortcut if you want because no one's going to see you. But I don't think players have, and they understand the importance of that. So I think blokes understand that it's only three weeks pre Christmas, so you've got to make the most of it, um, and then probably be five or six weeks from playing a game. So blokes understand they've got to play, um, train well. What are your thoughts on Liam Ryan? Do, could he step straight up, do you think? Oh, you like well, mate, well, potentially all, all boats could bear it. And having played a bit of senior footy, I think at times can help um, because you understand you played a few against a few bodies, but there's still a fair bit to go between now and the game. So I think we've got a lot of blokes that could easily come in and play if, if they have a good pre-season. He's got a bit of height too, hasn't he? For, for yeah. Forward, yeah. Yeah, well, um, you know, <clears throat> I think a couple of boys played against him Oh no, three times this year, and they said he's pretty um, dynamic, got some, got some pace, and got a pretty good jump as well. So, um, you know, I, I think he'll go well, as I think a lot of other guys will. Yeah. Is it fair to say Venables and Archie really need to step up in terms of the midfield? You need, you need those guys <coughs> to come on. Oh well, everyone's got to improve. Like everyone, mate. So that's 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 myself down to um, blokes who got drafted this year. Something that we want to keep working on is keep working through everyone getting better, but with the midfield having a few blokes um, leave. Um, Venables one, Sheed, um, yeah, Lucas shuey has been going really well, but um, hopefully Gaffey can keep coming along, keep showing some good leadership. So if those guys um, can come in and have an impact straight away, they'd be fantastic. But it, it, it's a team game, and that's what helps those blokes play well, and they help us play well. You're saying you get to the position now. You know, yeah. Everyone's sort of challenging for those fit, uh, those spots, but yep. what about the ruck spot? Obviously Nick coming yeah. back, but Vardy and Lights, do you expect them to sort of slug it out most of this pre-season? Oh, well, all of them. All of them will be. Um, I think the key with um, Vards and Scotty is they can easily easy play forward. So all three of those um, guys could potentially play. Um, so th and that's the thing with football. You've got 45 blokes on the list trying to fit into 22, so there's going to be a bit of competition. Um, but Scotty, Scotty looked good today. You know, unfortunately, he's only played one game in 12 months, um, and Vards has been doing really well. So um, there will be um, a couple of tough decisions, I assume, for the match committee you know, coming into February and March. Is it sort of an unknown, given I think there's 16 players that haven't played a game on, this, on the squad? Is that yep. sort of a bit of an unknown? Because it really is a new generation, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. And that's been spoken about, um, you know, with the development of the club and branding and all that stuff. So it is, it is going to be different. And the unknown is always a hard thing because to predict and what about this and what about that but really all as a playing group we can do is make sure we're best suited to be able to um, get ready to train uh, adapt to the game plan put that in place and then play well um, there'll be a lot of unknowns and you just don't know how you're going to go and that's part of life so um, as long as we prepare and do the best we can I, I certainly think we'll be fine there's a lot of guys who are
title have moved on at the end of the season. Does it feel like a bit of a new era? Oh, well, yeah, that's been spoken about and it probably is, yeah. So it's always changing. I think we had uh, 10, 10 new players this year, maybe 11. Um, and once again, we keep talking about getting older, mate, but it, it's... Um, the players that you got drafted with and grew up playing a lot of footy with, all of a sudden, um, not too many of them are around. So, um, you know, having Pruder go, um, you know, it'll be different for me because he's got it really well with him, but it's, it's part of football. It's just what it is. Yeah. In terms of performance wise, are you guys expecting any sort of drop off or do you think you can still maintain oh, and really well, push? Yeah, I'd really hope there's no drop off. Um, I, I understand about um, players now play a little footy and experience, but um, if. You learn the way to play the game well and we teach it well. I can't see why it wouldn't be the case. Um, there's probably always going to be a couple of teams you know, in the top two or three. And then um, it just depends on the attitude and how your season wants to go. So I certainly think we'd be around the mark again for finals, as, as does everyone though. So it feels like a new era a bit, does it? New stadium, new premises, new players. That's oh, it. mate, for sure. Yeah, new logos, new everything. And um, that's part of footy and the change. And that's why everyone's so excited and pretty happy with... Um, coming back to the club and just, 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 um, you forget the excitement that footy can bring to a lot of people and the fans, and that's hopefully what we're going to be able to do in the next, well, next year, but next two years. Are you excited about the new stadium? Uh, yeah, it'll be good actually. Yeah, so I think we're going to have a look at it um, before Christmas, which will be really nice. Always enjoyed, enjoyed playing at Subiaco, but um, from what we've seen, it looks like it's going to be a fantastic stadium. And Nick Nat didn't make it today. Is he not doing fitness testing? Oh, mate, no. Well, <clears throat> you always got to make sure Nick's going all right. But he's he's been doing a heap of training in the off-season and doing now. So um, he'll do a heap of, heap of training probably post-Christmas. Sorry, up until now, he'll just be doing um, all his running and kicking the skills and he'll be fine for post-Christmas. Is Josh Kennedy as well? Yep, he'll be the same. Um, this time of the year, um, uh, players... Uh, not, not so much an individual program, but just to get through to Christmas, some players need a couple of different things. So JK's one of them, but he's going really well, and um, he's had well, 12 years of pre-season under his belt.